Hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome to the next episode in our Fix That Super Rushed Town Hall 13, where today we only have one builder available, uh, but we have some things that we can, uh, you know, kind of kind of finagle a little bit. We got uh, the laboratory we also got to take care of today. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump right into the uh, episode and see what we get done. Now, last episode, we were kind of, you know, pushing to Champions League. We came, like, what, five trophies short. Uh, but I was able to get the Champions League. And as you can see, becoming a champion, <laughs> you get 2,000 gems, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and collect that. And kaboom. Now, I don't really use gems for anything except for, you know, like, donating and stuff like that. I don't, you know, finish buildings usually. You know, I... Sometimes don't really boost my uh, barracks. I use like training potions and stuff like that. So a lot of times gems are pretty much just for like donating to my clan. As you can see, I have like 7,000 donations. Um, maybe not as impressive as some of you guys out there in the Clash of Clans world. But it's a few up, uh, you know, a few, few donations there. Uh, anyway, so there's the gems. Uh, today, what we need to do is get the laboratory going. We always got to have this laboratory going. And uh, we have about 5.2 million elixir right now. And uh, I have a book of spells, and I get another book of spells out of my, uh, my you know, gold pass. So, kind of what I want to get done, I use the free spell all the time, pretty much. Uh, I don't really use the clone spell, or the haste spell, the skelly spell. Nobody really ever uses the skelly spell. <laughs> uh, but, I kind of want to get this, um, I want to get the free spell upgraded. It's a 3.6 million, 4 day upgrade, right? Rage spell, we could also do 4 days, 12 hours, 2.7 million. Uh, but I really want to get this free spell going and uh, get it upgraded or at least to level 3. It's going to add, you know, like half a second, which is not a big deal. But, you know, once we start upgrading this thing, this thing lasts for like 7 seconds. So that's a long, long time. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this done. 4 days, 1 hour. Not really going to take that long. 3.6 million elixir and kaboom. And kaboom. Very nice. So, we still have laboratory that we need to get, you know, going, right? We still have quite a bit of elixir. 1.5 million. And what I plan to do, I want to go ahead and get these healers upgraded. And the reason that I want to do the healers, because I want to start doing, like, other attack strategies. You know, like, queen walks, and, you know, um, a lot of you guys, you know, want to see, like, hybrid attacks. And, you know, there's new blizzard attacks and stuff like that. So, I need to get these healers upgraded. Level 2 is just not going to cut it. Not going to cut it. And it's a, you know, very cheap upgrade. 1.35 million, 2 days, 16 hours. Which means next episode, I'm probably going to have to, you know, get this uh, laboratory going again. So let's go ahead and get this upgraded. And kaboom. I do have a book of fighting. But I don't want to use that on, you know, a two-day upgrade, right? I want to use that on something that's going to, like, max out something. Or, like, maybe the Yetis. You know, 13.5 million, 14 days. I could, you know, instantly finish that. That would be awesome. Um, also, you know, got to get my dark troops upgraded. You know, those are very important. You know, for hybrid, you know, you got to get the hoggies upgraded. Got to get those guys going. So we still have a builder available. And we have the Grand Warden down. We still have the Scattershot down. We have the Barracks still down. And we still have the Eagle Artillery down. Which is fine, you know. Those are all going to be done within the next, like, two days. So one day, three hours in the Barracks. One day, 12 on the Grand Warden. And one day, 23 hours. So basically two days on that Eagle Artillery. So next episode, we're going to have three builders... And we're going to have the laboratory. So I'm going to need to grind a ton of loot on my live streams. By the way, guys, if you haven't tuned into my live streams, definitely come tune into that. Really appreciate it. You know, we stream every day uh, on Facebook Gaming and on Twitch at the same time. So definitely go check that. Link will be in the description at the bottom. Uh, but yeah, so we got to get another builder going. And I really want to get another hero going. We have a ton of gold. But I don't really want to worry about my defenses. You know, we've kind of... Then, you know, leveling up these mortars just so we have, you know, a free builder of, um, available, like, today. Uh, so, I, we're almost done with the elixir. we got a couple elixir upgrades left. Uh, but we need to get these heroes going because, I mean, we have... We don't have a dark elixir hero going right now. So, kind of need to get those guys going. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and collect this treasury. And it's a 1.1 million uh, golden elixir. So, that gives me a little bit of elixir. A little bit more dark elixir. And we're basically just going to use this gold on walls. Now, walls now are 2.7 million. Huge jump from, you know, the previous ones were like 200-something thousand. Or no, they were like 800,000, something like that. I don't remember. But anyways, 2.7 million now. So we're going <laughs> to slowly start upgrading walls. We're no longer going to be able to upgrade whole lines of walls. No, we're just going to have to do them one by one at a time whenever we have some excess gold and stuff like that. So... 
Let's go ahead and upgrade a few of these walls. We now are working on Town Hall 11 walls. This is great. So look at that. Look at these white walls. Oh, this is epic. But they're level 12 walls, which never really made sense to me because, you know, Town Hall 9, you have two levels of walls to do. So that kind of throws the whole thing off, right? Anyways, those are level 12 walls. Town Hall 11 max. And that used pretty much all of our gold. And we still have a little bit of elixir, but we need to go ahead and get this Barbarian King going. But we need to go do some raids first. I want to be able to use the Barbarian King. <laughs> At least in this raid. At least in this raid, I'll be able to use the Barbarian King. And we can just put him down because he's probably going to get hurt. Probably going to die. And, uh, you know, we'll just be able to do him after this raid. So I drop trophies back down to Crystal 2. So it's kind of the middle ground of Crystal League. So I'm able to hit people in Crystal 1. Able to hit people in Crystal 3. Or, yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> Crystal 3 is the weaker one. Crystal 1 is, you know, the higher league. And um, I, I just wanted to be in the middle so I'd be able to, you know, get full range and hopefully find bases like this more and more often. So let's go ahead and drop the jump. Drop the Mr. Gullham. And we're going to drop our witches. Drop the two P.E.K.K.A.s. And we need to drop these other witches. I'm going to save a couple just for cleanup on the outside. King, Queen, and Champion. The Warden is still being upgraded. I'll be so glad when he gets back, but I'm going to have to just put him right back down, which does kind of suck, but Warden is very, very important. I love the Warden. He's my favorite hero, and he's able to keep your troops alive, so I definitely want to get him upgraded and uh, make sure, you know, he's staying upgraded, keeping him, you know, every five levels he gets that extra, you know, Eternal Tome ability level, which makes, you know, the, the thing last longer, right? Keeps your troops alive longer, so... Definitely want to make sure I get that upgraded. I'm going to save that freeze for the Town Hall because I know that Town Hall is going to activate here in just a minute. Let's go and drop these Wizards on the outside. And there goes the Town Hall. So, let's go and pop this King's ability. Get through these defenses. We have three P.E.K.K.A.s because we have that Siege Barracks. And we want to be able to get this Town Hall. So, I need these P.E.K.K.A.s to come on. Get into the base. Queen's going to take out that storage. So, they're going to go straight for that Town Hall. I'm going to go ahead and pop the Royal Champion's ability. And this is going to be a 3-star. This is looking to be like a 3-star, which means we're going to get all the loot and we're going to get our loot bonus. So it is nice to be, you know, a higher league, right? You know, you, you have a chance to find these type of bases. You get that awesome loot bonus. But the thing about, you know, being such a high league, you don't find these that often, right? You don't find dead bases. You don't find, you know, easy loot to get to. So that's why I like to be in Crystal League. So if you're looking for loot, struggling for loot... Definitely want to drop probably down to Crystal League and uh, find you some really, really good loot. So, let's see. We're going to go ahead and get this Barbarian King going. He's only 58,000. Four-day upgrade. I don't believe... Yeah, that doesn't conflict with anything that we have going on right now. So, that's perfect. Perfect. Four days, one hour, 58,500 Dark Elixir. And kaboom. We still have quite a bit of Dark Elixir. 119,000. The Royal Champion is 238,000. So... Probably at the end of the season, we're going to upgrade her again. That's usually when we do it, because that's when we use our runes. Because, you know, in the gold pass, you know, at the end, we get a rune of gold, elixir, and dark elixir. And we get a book of heroes. So, probably just upgrade her, like, towards the end of the season. Because uh, she only has to go to level 25. You know, the heroes, other heroes, have to go to level 75. So, they got about 50 levels to go. And the warden has to go up to level 50. So, right now, he's got 41 levels to go. We got a lot of levels on heroes. Lots of levels on heroes, and we all, we've all we used all of our builders. We are going to go do one more raid. We definitely want to do one more raid, because we got to drop these miners. we got to drop these miners on somebody's base, and be able to get, you know, a little bit more loot towards, you know, the next episode. Well, I only have two days. I have two days to prepare, and luckily I do live stream, so I'm able to get, you know, tons of loot on my live streams, you know, with either boosting or, you know, finding, like, really, really good bases, because I stream for, you know, Four or five hours, right? Three for four or five hours. In four or five hours, you know, with me, you know, boosted troops and, you know, being able to attack, you know, a lot, I'm able to get, you know, tons of loot. That's why, you know, during these episodes, like, look at this, 500, almost 600,000 gold. We're going to hit this base. And this is what I find, you know, pretty much all, all during my live streams. So, you definitely want to come hang out to the live streams. I'd greatly appreciate it, you know, just to come hang out and chill and chat, you know. Maybe see some different attack strategies, do some friendly challenges. You know, we do all kinds of stuff on the live streams. So, let's see. That queen went down almost instantly. That was great. And we have max miners. 
We have max miners, which is good, because we've talked about using the hybrid attack strategy, right? We're going to need those max miners. We're going to need really, really good hogs, because right now, <laughs> I have level 1 hogs, and level 1 hogs is just not going to cut it. Definitely not going to cut it, so I'm hoping that I can, you know, start working on the hogs maybe a little bit, but, you know, most of my dark elixir goes towards those heroes, so... We'll see. We'll see. We have a ton of attack strategies that we can try out. You know, we got E-Drags. We got Yeti Smash. We got, you know, the new Blizzard attack. You know, the new Wizard, uh, Super Wizard attack. And uh, we're able to get Super Wizards because I have Max Wizards. And, uh, you know, there's just so many attack strategies that we could possibly do. That Town Hall is absolutely destroying my miners. We almost got the Town Hall. But that thing just destroys troops. It's a, it's a troop killer. It's not just a Town Hall. It's a troop killer. But we did get quite a bit of the loot. We missed out on that elixir over there and that gold up there. Maybe we can get this elixir over here. These, uh, these guys do tang just a little bit. Just a little bit. And it looks like we're going to get quite a bit of this elixir. Not too bad. 75%. We will take it, which means we get a full loot bonus. So there we go. 550,000 gold in elixir. Easy money. Easy money. So I did get you know a little bit of more treasury loot. I'm just going to keep that in there. And probably next episode, the Warden's going to be up again. I'm going to put him down again. So I need to get, what was it, 4.8 million Elixir or something like that. Probably going to be at least at least 5 million uh, for level uh, level 10, actually. At level 10, that's going to be awesome. He gets another level on his Eternal Tome, which is great. Uh, King's still going to be down. Uh, the Scattershot's still going to be down. But the Barracks and that Eagle and the Grand Warden will all be back up. So you probably guessed it, that Barracks being up. We're going to put another barracks down, and that's only a seven-day upgrade. <laughs> only a seven-day upgrade. A week without your barracks, and we have to upgrade it again. That's a nine-day upgrade, but we'll worry about that next episode. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode. If you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and make sure you get that bell turned on for notifications to know exactly when these videos do go live. You don't want to miss these episodes, especially if you're rushed, you know? Especially if you're rushed. I hope these have uh, kind of been helping you guys out. Uh, if they, if it has, you know, definitely let me know in the comments. Really appreciate that. Uh, don't forget to come hang out my live streams every day um, at 1 p.m. Central Time on Facebook Gaming and on Twitch. Definitely uh, greatly appreciate that when you guys hang out in that. It's a lot of fun. I greatly enjoy the live streams more than the YouTube. I definitely, you know, I like doing YouTube, but I definitely like the live streams because I get to, you know, interact with you guys, you know, in real time. So definitely come tune into that. Uh, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love each and every one of you guys. Be safe out there. And I will see you all next time.